the IP address is 192.168.1.1. If we wanted to go more granular than that, we can go show interface F00, and this is going to show us all the statistics for the interface. So, the amount of packets is dealt with, blah blah blah. You can pretty self-explanatory there. Um, it's going to give you the speed and the duplex of the interface. So you will know what that means. Full duplex means connections both ways at the same time. Um, encapsulation, ARPA. Uh, you can you can specify multiple encapsulation types, but that is out of the scope of this video. Uh, bandwidth, the available bandwidth to use on the interface. Again, out of the scope of this video. And obviously, we can see the interface is up. The protocol is up. Hardware address, MAC address, as I showed before. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Um, now, let's go on to configure a DHCP service on our router. It's one of the cool features of the Cisco router, um, like many other routers. Um, so, D, oh, sorry, so IP DHCP pool. So, first of all, we've got to configure a pool, and so we're going to call this pool one. So, you have to give it a name. So, now we're in the DHCP configuration mode, and we've got all these commands. First, we're going to con we're going to specify our network. So, our network is 192.168.1.0. Our default router, which is going to be the default gateway in other words which will be the interface we configured earlier 192.168.1.1 uh, we can specify a DNS server let's just say for people for argument's sake 192.168.1.10 and um, so that's the, ba the basis of it what we're going to do now is we're going to <laughs> specify the range of IP addresses that you can give out so it's pretty Illogical way of doing this. I don't know why it's not put in the DHCP mode as a, you know just as a range command, but let's do it anyway. IP DHCP excluded address. I think that's a command. Yep. Yeah. So the low IP address is the first IP address that you want the uh, service to give out. So 192.168.1.100, and then the high address, which is the last in the IP address we want to give out. So as you can see, we've got a range here we've got 100 to 150 okay and that's configured a uh, DHCP service on the router as easy as that um, <clears throat> so next on our list is adding a route so for uh, if you have uh, multiple networks in your large-scale network you may want to route packets from the local LAN to another LAN and the way you do this is with a IP route command so destination address, let's say uh, 172.16.0.0, that's our destination network. Destination mask pref prefix mask is going to be 255.255.0.0. And then we have forwarding routers address. So this will be the either the next hop address. So for example, if we had a router attached to what our WAN interface or whatever interface it is, had an address of 192.168.2.1 we would specify that address there because it's in the next hop address or you can specify the interface that the packets will travel out of so it will most all most likely be a serial interface we could do zero 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 and then we give it a metric so metric is uh, can be configured by you uh, it's normally um, hop count so if the router was two hops away I'd specify a metric of two um, and that's about it, you don't have to specify a met metric um, you can just do that, specify the basic route like that and to verify that's been installed into our routing table I don't think it will because we've got no active IP addresses we have, yeah, so we've got no active um, interfaces doing any routing anyway with any connectivity it won't be installed into the routing table until it sees um, those IP addresses or that interface come up. So here, let me just show you one of them here is we've got the different letters for different routes, type of routes. So here we've got a directly connected network which we know we've just configured earlier which is the 192.168.1.0 network that's denoted by C. If you had a RIP route here, a RIP, uh, a route learned by RIP, you'd have R. 
he had a route learned by OSPF, you'd have O. Okay, so that brings me to the end of the video. Um, of course, feedback's always welcome. Please subscribe as there's going to be many more videos coming in the future, in the next couple of weeks. Um, intermediate configurations of routers. Um, thanks for watching. Leave any comments below.